How's it going everyone? 8 Bit Kevin here and today we're going to play Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel. It's an old school anime PS2 game. Um, I really 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 wanted to just, uh, I don't know, play some anime games, uh, maybe make that part of my channel. Uh, and Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel is a game that I played a long time ago as a kid. Uh, I don't remember too much about it, I just remember that back then I remember asking my dad like hey can you buy me this game I don't know why this game of all games but I mean Full Metal Alchemist is great uh, so why not right uh, anyway let's just start a new game and enjoy the ride man gains nothing without sacrifice to gain something an equivalent price must be paid this is Alchemy's Law of Equivalent Exchange. Edward Elric, a young prodigy who became a state alchemist at the age of 12, he is now 15 years old. His alias, Full Metal, derived from the fact that his right arm and left leg are metallic artificial limbs known as Automail. Alphonse Elric, Edward's younger brother inside the giant suit of armor is a 14-year-old boy with a gentle heart. Only his soul occupies a suit of armor. He no longer has a physical body. Oh man, way to throw it back. In their youth, the Elric brothers attempted to revive their deceased mother through alchemy. The results were tragic. As the price for attempting the forbidden act of human transmutation, Ed lost his left leg, Al lost his entire body. <laughs> it's equivalent for one person. Ed sacrificed his right arm and succeeded in transmuting Al's soul, binding it to a nearby suit of armor. But their mother never came back, and the price they paid was far too great. I mean, Al lost his body, Ed lost a, li a couple limbs. Ah! In order to regain their bodies and return all to its previous state, the Elric brothers started on a journey to find the legendary Philosopher's Stone. A lot of you watching this are, have probably already watched Full Metal Alchemist, so it's like, yeah, this is nothing new. <clears throat> Ooh, anime sequence. Again, I'm really excited to play. I, I know it's an old game, but you know, sometimes playing old games is great, right? <laughs> Look at those graphics. Ooh, shiny spot, of course. <laughs> no uh, voice acting. Uh, I, guess, I guess that's just how it was back then, right? Ah, aren't we at the central? Aren't we at central yet? Watching all those boring trees go by makes you want to strangle something. Hit! <laughs> You've been bored ever since we reached Resemble Ed. Me, I think it's nice to take a break from going after the philosopher stone, don't you? A break? I'm gonna break something if this boring train ride doesn't end soon. Here we go again. Ha! Huh, what a disgrace! Have you no patience, Edward Elric? Once you reach the junction at he Hiesgart Central, it's a st uh, Hiesgart Central is a stone's throw away. Huh? Hiesgart? So we're near that old place? Brings back memories, huh? Yeah, now that you mention it. Oh ho, so you two have been to he Hiesgart before? Eh? Yes, our master has brought us there just once, a few years ago. I think we'd gone to see this guy named Wilhelm. He was quite an alchemist, just like our master. I'm remembering it now. The professor had a daughter named Celine, and she was an alchemist too. She was as old as us, but her skills were like a grown-up's. Ho ho, is that so? A genius girl alchemist, eh? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for my bad voice acting. <laughs> A genius? Yeah, but cold-hearted. I mean, we were so nice there the whole time we were there. But when the time came for us to go back to Dublith, she didn't even come out to send us off. Oh yeah, huh. Well, she probably wasn't feeling well enough, too. Was that supposed to be T-O-O? Or maybe it just hurt too much to say goodbye to you strapping young lads. I wonder if she's still studying. I'll bet she's a great alchemist by now. There's the voices. We are the People's Eastern Revolution Front. We have assumed control of 
this train. My PS2 is also very old, so if something happens in the middle of the printing, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll bet it's another new radical group. Jeez, what is this world coming to? Aren't you going to do something? Uh, why do I have to? Yeah, I mean, you can take those guys all by yourself, right, Major? <laughs> Indeed! It's something like they hijacked the train with the strong arm alchemist, Alex Louise Armstrong, on board! <laughs> Classic Armstrong. Come hither, Crooks! You shall regret your bad luck in due time, I assure you! All right, you! What, what the? Who are you, freaks? You heard the announcement, didn't you? This train's now under the control of the Eastern Liberation Federation. I guess they've changed their name since the announcement. I just can't take this anymore. Hey, wait, weren't we just in a situation like this? Eastern Liberation yeah, we Federation were. Someone must have put a curse on us. Hey, you and the armor and shorty. Who gave uh -oh. you permission to chat? Just shut up and fork over the valuable. This is perfect. Okay, you, take the goods from the muffler man and the armor, then get your butt over here, shorty. Who are you calling Shorty? <laughs> you, of course. Who the heck else is there, you Shorty? <laughs> you calling me the Dennis Booker World Record Tennis Shorty? Impressive, Edward Elric. An alchemist? <laughs> Let's go, Armstrong. Was pitiful. Just who are these people anyway? I'm telling you, it's a curse. Or maybe they want your autograph. What? Who? Hey, what's going on in here? Huh? Maybe he's a fan of yours. Very funny. All right, Major. You go check out the cars in the back and find out what that explosion was. Don't worry about it. I'm already on it. Looks like we've got alchemists among us. So everybody watch your backs, okay? <laughs> mm, I know it too well. Well then? Mm. Let's go! Okay, Al, let's do this like last time. You go from below, I'll take the rooftop. Yeah, gotcha. Be careful, alright? You know, the graphics aren't that bad. Moving camera controls, left analog stick, X is the jump, right analog stick, move camera, L1 to reset camera, L2 switch map display, okay, move around, and jump, okay. I'll let Al take care of things down here, I'll use that ladder to get to the roof. Okay, let's get to the roof, Ed. That's a big ladder. <laughs> All right, train hoppers, time to uh, deboard. Face first. Basic attacks, square to strike. Combos, pressing square multiple times. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, slow combat. Are they just not gonna attack me? Okay, this is practice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, one after another? What a pain. Well then, I'll just have to use alchemy to finish him off. Using alchemy, press square to do rock blocker. Hold for stone spikes. Okay, I can also jump on them. Right. Defend! Oh, there we go. Okay. Awesome. 
<laughs> the controls are kind of clunky, but it might be because of its time, I don't know. <laughs> A freight car, huh? Hmm, what do we have here? Transmuting weapons. When you hold down circle to power up the alchemy gauge, you will see circles around an object that you can transmute. Let go of circle while inside circle the alchemy. Ooh! Awesome! Equipping and using weapons. When standing, use triangle. When the weapon is equipped, triangle to drop weapon. Ooh, that's dope. Combos using transmuted weapons. You can combine stone spike and strikes with transmuted weapon. Examples of lance combos. Square, circle, square, square. Okay. Depending on your timing, you can follow stone spike to strikes, but you may risk missing your target. Let's go, boys. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Some fun. I think I remember beating this game as a kid. Aha! There they are. Let's see what I can whip up here. <laughs> Creating transmuted weapons. Different levels of alchemy gauge will give you a choice of transmuted weapons. The left directional button, reduce level, down. The left directional button, reduce level, down directional button, reset gauge. What does that mean? Cannon or no? Let's do this. <laughs> Large transmuted weapons. Large weapons may be manned by either Ed or Al. Try to look off. Square to fire. Aim up. Okay, let's do this. Oh! You wanna mess with me? Oh, what? That's it? When you level up, you can allocate the bonus points you gain to Ed and Al's attributes. From the pause menu, select bonus points, then either Ed or Al, then either Ed or Al. Points can be allocated to both. So let's get off of this. Let's uh, start our bonus points. Oh, okay, so I have three bonus points. Let's do attack. One defense. Is that heavy or Al heavy? Nope. Okay, let's. Lead Bengal. Nice. Alright, let's equip that. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Look at how Al runs. Al, any of them left back there? Thanks to you, I think they're all KO'd. Yep, yep, just leave it to me. Let's go get the rest of them. <clears throat> you know, Ed, you always go diving in by yourself. Well, cooperation is important in battle. Ooh, let's control Al now? 
Give me commands to Al. When Al is far away, R1 to call for Al. When Al is close by, R1 to tackle. At any time, hold R1 to guard it. Ow! Okay. Oh shoot! I'll attack! Ow. Okay. Oh, shit. Shoot. I'll attack! Okay. I'll attack! Come on, Al, I did all that by myself. Oh, camera kinda sucks in this game. Ow. Okay. Ooh! Ow, attack! So we picked up an item, so let's equip it. Uh, get my defense up. Hey Al, Yad, do you think I could transmute this into a weapon for you to use? Press circle to display this. Press circle button to display the circles will also show icons for available weapon types. Weapons for Ed, weapons for Al, and weapons for both. Oh, blue is for Al, okay. Ooh, oh! When you're a weapon for Al or both, use R1 for weapon to use. Al's weapon can only be used a limited number of times. After they are used up, they vanish. Ow! Oh, here we go! Let's go, boys! <laughs> Al, you're not even helping. Come on. I saw a chest here. So what's an equip herb? Uh, let's... No. Allows user to equip transmuted weapons. Huh. Guess I don't really need it right now. Transmitter cannon. Let's go, boys. Oh, oops. Sorry, Al. Oh, I'm out of gas. All right, let's see. I already have a lance. Thank, thank you. I assume other side as well. Should I go up the roof this time? Come on, someone who's as big as you would fall right through the roof. Haha, <laughs> you're right. Ha ha ha. Oh, ow. Let's see what's over here first before we go up on the roof. You always gotta explore.
God, still more of them? Were they only non hijackers aboard or something? Uh, he makes a good point. Where's all the passengers? Left analog stick and then R2 to dodge attacks. Four goals and backflips. Not again, looks like I've had to beat my way through. Break falling. If you are knocked into the air, you can break fall by pressing X just before you hit the ground. A successful break fall can get you back into your feet faster. Okay. Yeah, you guys suck. Almost at the front. Safe point. <clears throat> safe point. Step into the safe point and press either square or circle in order to save and recover your health. Square or circle. Well, uh, let's check if there's anything. Ah, there we go. Aha. Check back here as well. Why not? Nope. All right. Let's uh save real quick. See if a memory card works. Really old memory card. Eight megabytes. Really weird, right? Ooh, I like that sound. I assume Edward. I assume we're at the boss fight or something. Oh, hey, Al. Are the bad guys history yet? Just the ones in the cars we cleared uh, uh, cleared out, I guess. The Major is taking care of the car in the back, so all we have to the left are the few cars up front. If the hijackers have a leader, then he's got to be up in front. Let's be careful, Al. About their leader, did you notice how some of the bad guys were in military garb? Yeah, that bothered me. But then again, criminals in the military are hardly a rarity. Anyway, we'll just have to beat up the leader and put them through the ringer. Let's go, Al. What the? Who the hell are you guys? Ooh, that's menacing. Are you sure you're supposed to be a bad guy? Never mind that, Ed. His uniform. Yeah, just like we thought. Our guy here is a military man, an MP at that. Military policemen are supposed to be elite, so why is this guy- Hey, 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 stop talking about me like I'm not here. You brat, don't you think you can get out of here alive? Dealing with these goons is becoming a real hassle. And it's time to make things hassle-free. We aren't dealing with amateurs anymore, so watch out, Al. And don't forget to hold back, Ed. Hold back? <laughs> Ooh, think you get me? Make a cannon! Bam! Bam! Oh, that's it for that. Oh, you need a weapon. Let's go. Ooh, another one. I'll get out of the way. Ooh, that's so OP. Let's go! Boss defeated. Oh, I guess. Did we get graded or something? Hmm, guess not. Arg, damn you! How could I lose to a kid? Has the world gone utterly mad? Yes, it has. Now you better start explaining why a military policeman like you is hijacking this train. You aren't here just to rob everyone, are you? Grr, who are you guys? Hey, 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 we're the ones asking the questions here, bub. 
No, no, don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything. I was just running away. Running away? From who? From other military policemen. I was fleeing for a crime, so I had no choice but to flee. If it was a false charge, why didn't you just protest? You shouldn't have had to run. If the world were that simple, I wouldn't be in so much trouble. It's a conspiracy. We wouldn't all be on the run if there wasn't a warrant out for all of us. Uh, all of us? That's right, except for the few that we picked up on the way. We're ex-military alchemists. So you're trying to tell me that you're all wanted for a crime that you've collectively didn't commit? Yes, well, some of them may really be criminals, but not me. I'm innocent, I swear. And this is coming from the guy that hijacked our train? Yeah, congrats. You're a bona fide criminal now. Good job. I didn't mean to cause such a scene. I wanted to be a mere, uh, to be more covert. All I wanted to do was get to Heisgart. I'm not lying. To Heisgart? What for? The only one who was on our side was Colonel against Breslau, and he was the one who told us to take shelter at Heisgart because the town was establishing an autonomy of alchemists. The only way for wanted men like us to get to Heisgart was by borrowing a train. I was going to wait it out at Heisgart until the dust settled and then prove my innocence. Huh, alright, I'm beginning to see now. But an autonomy, a self-government by alchemists? I've never heard of such a thing. Jeez, that'd be totally irresponsible, like putting a rabid dingo in charge of a chicken farm. But the leader is supposedly a great say, alchemist, one of the famed ten alchemists. Professor Wilhelm Eselstein. What? Professor Eselstein? We heard he's calling on alchemists from all over the country, that's all I know. Ed, what does this mean? I don't have a clue. I wonder if the same Professor Eselstein that we know. Calling on alchemists? Why would he do that? Hmm, why would he do that? Hey, Ed, he's getting away. What? Hey, get your butt back here. Guess we save. Ooh, we leveled up too, so let's uh, put some bonus points in. Got two bonus points, so let's do... This time let's do Vitality. And alchemy. And then did out nope. And then I got another accessory, so let's equip to Al's Sure, why not? Uh are there any items around here that I could use? I didn't notice anything when we were fighting. Okay, so Okay, cool, there we go. He's got those like fat anime lips. <laughs> oh. He's definitely dead, that's for sure. <laughs> nice arm. Okay, pal, who are you? Wait, that uniform and badge? A military policeman? A senior colonel? Hey, mister, you wouldn't happen to be named Gens, would you? Hehehe, <laughs> and what if I am, kiddo? Ed, you don't think... Is this him? Yeah, Al, looks like this the Mohawk Psycho is the head honcho. So what's your reason for deceiving your subordinates and leading them to Heisgart? Real smart punk, aren't you? But you ain't got, uh, gotta know nothing else, cause you're gonna die right here. And yes, I am Gens Breslow, the armor-piercing alchemist, and the strongest in the military. Ah, debatable. Beep. But I've never heard of you. And just who says you're the strongest in the military anyway? Your your mom doesn't count, you know. <laughs> I've taken care of my incompetent support in it. Now you guys are my only problems left. Nothing personal, mind you. You got in our way and you got no one to blame but yourselves. Nothing personal, tips Fedora. I figured it'd come to this, but it's a dirty job. But someone's gotta transmute it. Wait, you guys can't be- you're not full metal alchemist Edward Elric, are you? Gosh, Ed, you're a celebrity. What's it to you? Do you want me to sign your forehead or something? Woohoohoo! How long I've I've longed to meet you, full meta alchemist. Well then, it's either you or me, your right arm or my left arm. Let's settle here and now who 
Now, who should really be called Full Metal? Come and get some shorty. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> who? Who? Are you calling microscopic, huh? Let's go boss fight. Real boss fight. Ooh. Where are you? Oh my god. Where are you? So that's what the, that's what the herb is for. Okay, so let's use the equip herb because I could not equip anything. Oh shoot! Come on, just let me land a hit. What's this? Ooh, is this what I think it is? Oops. Oh, come on, don't block. Freaking, what, Molotovs? <laughs> so OP. This <laughs> is so OP. Take that! <laughs> nice. Oh, Alka's ranked. Eh, I, I beat him. Whatever. <laughs> no way. I can't lose. Looks like you're beginning to understand that I'm way out of your league. Strongest in the military? I think the flame alchemist is stronger. This guy's just had it easy all his life, you know? No real challenges. Like hell, you say! Well, you want more? <laughs> Come on, Ed. You know it's not cool picking on a weakling. Ooh. <laughs> weakling? You brat! Is there a gun under there or something? You haven't won yet. I'll show you. I'll get you for this. Such classic bad guy lines. Yeah, well, you'd better remember, because my memory stinks. It sure does. <laughs> I'll see you later, snotty shorty. Oh, shorty? Who are you calling a snot no shorty? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Ed. Yes, I'd like to save the game. You know, I think I'm going to end the first episode there. A little short, only about, you know, half an hour. But um, as we go through this, I think I'll make longer episodes. But I think that's a good uh, first introduction episode. Um, I'm really enjoying this so far, even if it's kind of slow and clunky. But, I mean, I think it's a product of its time. Uh... It's a, it's a PS2 era game, what do you expect? But uh, it's nice revisiting this game after all these years. Uh, I think I played this game back... Shoot, how long ago was it? Like, it was definitely over a decade ago. I think I was... I'm 28 right now. I, I think I was, like, what, 10 years old or 11 years old or something like that when I played this game. Uh, it's, it's a nice throwback, that's for sure. Uh, and I think I'm going to continue playing it. I think I might try to beat it and play more for you all, but... Um, I hope you guys stick around. Um, again, you know, I'm going to try playing more anime type games in the future. Uh, this game, I think I have an Inuyasha PS2 game that I'm going to play eventually. And then maybe some like modern era anime games as well. I want to really try Sword Art Online eventually. But um, again, hope you enjoyed watching this first episode or this first part of this playthrough. Um, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know you want it more or something like that. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye.